All right, class, so um, today's notes are going to be on factoring. You've done this before. Um, we're finding the greatest common factor. We're actually gonna start on the bottom because these are easier than the ones on top. I'm not sure why they have them in this order. But, so we're gonna do the bottoms first. All right, so when we're finding the GCF between two numbers, what we're gonna do is find all of the factors of 15. So basically, we're looking for all of the numbers that go into 15. Well, we know one in 15 goes into it. And then I'm gonna show you how to find other numbers. So let's see if two goes into 15. We're gonna do 15 divided by two. It gives me a decimal, so two does not go into it. What about 15 divided by the next number, three? Not only does three go into it, it goes into it five times, okay? Let's see if four goes into it. 15 divided by four gives me a decimal. Um, and now we're up to a number we already have listed, so we're finished. These are the only four factors of 15. Now we're gonna start with the largest number. Start with the largest number and see if it goes into the other number. So we're gonna do 40 divided by 15, gives me a decimal. So we know it's not 15. So now let's go to five. What about 40 divided by five? That works. So five is my GCF. Five is my GCF, okay? Let's try 24 and 60. So again, always do the smallest number. Well, we know one in 24. Let's see if two goes into it. 24 divided by two gives me an even number. So two goes into it 12 times. Let's try three. 24 divided by three goes into it eight times. Let's try four. 24 divided by four goes into it six times. Five does not go into it. Now we're back to six, or back up to six, so we don't have to go any further. So now we're gonna start with the highest number and see if it goes into the other number. So 60 divided by 24 gives me a decimal. So we know 24 is not one. 60 divided by 12 gives me five. So 12 is my GCF, 12 is my GCF. 27 and 42, let's start with 27. Let's see, we know one in 27. Does two go into 27? Most of y'all know it doesn't, but now we just proved it. Let's try three, 27 divided by three gives me nine, so three goes into it nine times. Let's try four, it does not. Let's try five, it does not, and I'm gonna stop right there because no other numbers go into it. So now we're gonna see if the largest number goes into the other number. So 42 divided by 27 gives me a decimal. So that's not it. 42 divided by the next largest number, which is nine, gives me a decimal. That's not it. So now 42 divided by three is 14. So it goes into it evenly. So three is my GCF. 18 and 81, well we know one in 18. Does two go into 18? Yes, it goes into it nine times. Does three go into 18? Yes, it goes into it six times. Does four go into 18? No, five doesn't. We're up to six, we already have six listed, so we're finished. Now we start with the highest number, see if it goes into 81 divided by 18 gives me a decimal, so we know that's not it. 81 divided by nine is nine, so nine is my GCF. 25, we've got one in 25. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that five and five are the next two, and those are the only numbers that go into 25. So now let's see if 25 goes into 125, and sometimes you get lucky and the largest number goes into it even, so that is the GCF. 19, well 19 is what's called a prime number, so the only numbers that go into 19 is one and 19. So let's see if 19 goes into 41. 41 divided by 19, and it does not. So this one has no GCF, because one, or I guess one would be the greatest common factor. Um, all right, so now let's look at these up here. If you'll notice, these have letters. Well, we're gonna start with the numbers. We're still gonna start with the smallest number. One in 12, 
we divide 12 by 2, it'll give us 6, so 2 and 6. If we do 12 divided by 3, it'll give me 4, so there. 5 doesn't go into it, so now we're done with that. So let's see if 12 goes into 16. So 16 divided by 12 gives me a decimal. 16 divided by 6 gives me a decimal. 16 divided by 4 gives me 4. So we know 4 is a part of my GCF because these didn't work. So now let's look at my letters. So basically I've got x to the third, which would be x times x times x, time, and then x squared. All right. So basically you look and see what they have in common. What these two lines have in common is they both have an x there, and they both have an x there, and then this one's by itself. So it's x, and how many circles do we have? Squared. Another way to look at it, find the letter, find the lowest exponent, that is your GCF. So this x squared is smaller than x to the third, so it would be x squared plus the number that we found earlier. All right? Let's look at the next one, so 45 and 50. So we know 1 and 45. 2 doesn't go into it. Let's see if 3 goes into it. 45 divided by 3. 3 goes into it 15 times. 4 doesn't go into it. Let's see if 5 goes into it. 5 goes into it 9 times. So 5 and 9. 6 doesn't. 7 doesn't. 8 doesn't. Now we're up to 9, so we're finished. So now let's see if 45 goes into 50. Well, we know that doesn't work. Let's see if not, or 15 goes into 50. It's a decimal, so that doesn't work. Let's see if 9 goes into 50. 50 divided by 9 gives me a decimal, so that's not it. I bet 5 goes into it, and it does 10 times. So 10 is a part of my GCF. Now let's look at my letters. I've got 8 to the 5th, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a to the seventh, and then circle where they each have an a, which each line has an a. And how many times are we circling? We're circling a, and we circled one, two, three, four, five times, so it's a to the fifth. Or just look at the smallest exponent. They both have an a, so we know a is a part of it. Look at the smallest exponent. That is your GCF. Last one. We're not going to do the bottom one with the negatives. We'll do those next semester. All right, so I've got 5A. Well, look, they don't both have an A. See, these both have an A. These both have an X. These do not have both have an A. So we know A is not a part of my GCF because this one doesn't have any A's. All right, so the factors of 5 are simply 1 and 5. Well, let's start with the highest number. Does 5 go into 35? And it does seven times. And that's it. We're finished because they both don't have an A. So that is the GCF. And like I said, we'll do the bottoms. We'll do we'll work on that kind next semester.